Lieutenant O'Hario from the East Lansing Police Department is joining us today to talk about rave alert notifications and smart 911. Welcome back. Talk about this program. Yes, the Rave and Smart 911 system uh, just went live June 1st. Mm -hmm. It is all AM County wide, but obviously we're here to talk about East Lansing and East Lansing is on board and is using that system as well. And this is replacing, if you had Nixle before, Everbridge Nixle, is this a replacement or an addendum or a morph or what is this? So for all of Ingham County, it is a replacement. MSU is still using Nixle. However, if you still want to receive updates, especially in East Lansing, you should sign up for RAVE, which is also included in Smart 911. Okay, for people who might not be familiar with what we're talking about, these are notifications that you're going to get. There's a big traffic jam. 127 in Trowbridge, can you believe that? Right. <laughs> there's a problem there. Or there's, you know, a tornado warning, or what, there's a missing person or a missing kid. These notifications all come to your cell phone when you sign up for a program like that. If you had Nixle, that ended. And I gotta tell you, I was I'm like, oh, this new thing wants me to click this thing where I'm telling you how many people are in the house, and it just seems like so much information you're asking just to be notified. And I almost didn't do it, and I went, Oh, I'm just going to do it because everyone has my information. <laughs> so that's the smart 911 system. Rave is also attached to that. Rave oh. is all of the notifications. The smart 911 system is completely voluntary, and the data that is stored within the smart 911 system is actually not even accessible to the 911 dispatchers unless you dial 911. Oh. That information can help dispatchers make sure that you get the correct help you need all the way down to including your pets. So if you really want to build that system up and help dispatchers out in, in times of emergency, you can go ahead and pre-do that and set up your profile. But again, you don't have to put that much information in there. The big thing is, just like you said, with the RAVE 911 system, if you want to continue with getting those emergency notifications, you do need to sign up. There is no fee, it's free and you can completely customize what kind of notifications you get. So if you don't want the traffic notifications, you don't have to sign up for those. But we are doing community notifications as well for community events and other items. So there's a lot of important information that is being pushed out on the RAVE system. And it's not a daily thing. You aren't getting messages daily. I've, I had it for a couple of years with the, the Nixle and it's, to me, I always found it really useful and really interesting. I'm like, oh, there's something going on over there. Oh, I need to avoid this area of town. And oh, there's a big event coming up. So what are some other hesitancies that people might encounter? Right. If you want to be a lot more interactive, again, because it's completely customizable, you can sign up for all of those alerts. Perfect. But if you don't want that, you don't have to sign up. Okay. And I can do it on the website or through the app. You can find out more information, cityofeastlansing.com. Lieutenant O'Hario, thank you for coming by. Thanks for having me.